Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! Today I would like to talk to you about how to motivate kids to be responsible, how to help them to develop responsibility and how to teach them to be trustworthy. A couple of weeks ago uh, I went to my stepdaughter's bedroom and saw that uh, one of the sockets behind her bed is broken and i saw that the wire that she charges her devices were like hanging out from the socket and it was like very very dangerous so the socket was kind of you know in out of the out of the hole actually uh, i realized that she used it to charge her devices uh, when she was you know supposed to sleep in the bed so we don't allow them to charge their devices in the bed we don't allow them to use their computer in bed but apparently she did and um, probably she did it at night when uh, the lights were off so that's why she was trying to find the outlet she was probably pushing and pulling out you know the wire so it's completely broke to be honest with you, I was angry. Luckily for her and for me, she was at school. So when she came back home, I was able to cool down. And uh, her dad and me, we talked to her nicely. We did not uh, punish her. We explained to her that this is dangerous. She could be electrocuted and she could create a fire in the house. So I found the different socket and I said, okay, you can use this um, place to charge your devices on the table, you know, charge your phone, charge your computer, this is safe. And she said, okay. Uh, the next morning I went to her room and I saw another broken socket behind her bed also from the other side and pieces of plastic were on the floor next to the bed. So I realized that she completely ignored, you know, the nice conversation that we had the day before. So I was angry again and then I was like, okay, so what can I do? I decided that I will talk to her and I told her that from now on you have no, you lost your privilege to charge your devices in your room, all the devices should be charged in the kitchen until you can show us uh, your dad and me that you are trustworthy until you can show us that we can trust you and you can show us that you're responsible and she asked me so how can i do that and i said we're gonna have a trust board so trust board is actually a piece of paper like i just took a plain plain piece of paper and uh, every time she does something good for example she asked her dad for a ruler from his office and he told her like, yes, you can have it, but you should bring it back. And she said, okay, I promise. And she did. So, you know, she asked for something, she promised to do it and she did. So we put on the trust board number one, you know, took the ruler from daddy's office and returned it. And they told her that you need to, oops. I told uh, her that, okay, you earned one trust point. As soon as you earn 10 of them, you can take all your devices back to your room and charge them in your room. But if uh, during the process you will lie to us or you will forget something like, for example, a dirty socks on the living room couch, then we're going to deduct one trust point. So every time when you promise something or you're supposed to do something that you know and you don't do it, we're going to count as a negative trust point and we will deduct it from the board. So as long as you get 10 positive points, you're trustworthy and we consider that we can trust you so you can take your devices back into your room. She actually took it very well. She was like, okay, that sounds reasonable, that sounds doable. Uh, we just started doing it, so I don't have a feedback yet. But uh, if you're interested, let me know in the comments and maybe I will create another video and tell you uh, about the experience. 
So please let me know what helps you to motivate your kids, what helps you to teach them or how do you teach them to be responsible. Uh, if you can share this video with your friends and family on your social network, I will be so happy because every time you click like, subscribe or share, it really helps my YouTube channel. So please help me to help you and other people to create more videos like this and answer your questions. And of course, if you have a question, you know, write it down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.